Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my December empties. I racked up my empties basket for this past month. Like everything honestly doesn't fit. So I'm gonna take everything out and we're gonna go through it one by one, but this might be a longer video. So grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a beverage, whatever you want and um, get ready to watch this video because I imagine it's gonna be pretty long, but let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I'm gonna have to like go in sections. So we're gonna put the rest over here for now, but we're gonna start with candles because I finished off a lot in the past month. So. I'm gonna start off with the first one right here, and this is Leaves. So this is actually, I think from 2019. Um, the scent notes are crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. I burned this down in my bathroom, I think. Yeah, in my bathroom, because it's super strong, but honestly a really good scent. It makes me nostalgic for fall and for like hocus pocus watching. Whenever I smell it, it smells delicious, but I just couldn't do it in my bedroom. It's a little too strong for that, so. Um, but it was a really good scent and I finally finished it up after having it for about two years. So that was good. I also finished off Twisted Peppermint also in the bathroom. This one is also an older one. Um, let's see if I can find the, oh, 2018. So an older one, but a really good one. It smells like peppermint. I finished this off in like the first week of December and it was perfect for that time of year. And actually I was a little bit, uh, I had a cold, I think whenever I did this. So it helped kind of clear out my na my nasal passages, which is a little weird, but peppermint candles will help you do that. So this one was really good. I enjoyed that. I also finished off the Chocolate Grams Bath and Body Works candle from last winter, um, from 2020. This one I noticed was not very strong at all. So I actually put it, I burned it, I think a few times, and then I put it in my wax, um, wax melter, sorry, my candle crock and uh, finish it off in there because it was a very, very weak scent. Um, in the candle crock, it still was like kind of weak. So I definitely will never get this again, um, but it was a good scent. It was like super simple. It's milk, chocolate, graham cracker, caramel swirl, and vanilla extract. It was really just like a vanilla candle. I can't smell anything, <laughs> nothing's left in it, but yeah, finished that one off. Um, and then I also finished off Bath and Body Works White Pumpkin. I got this one for free. They were doing like a promo for a, a buy online. I think it was like uh, with a minimum $40 purchase, you got a free candle and it was in White Pumpkin. So I really enjoyed this scent. It was honestly amazing for like the end of fall and the beginning of winter. These scent notes are Gingered White Pumpkin, Caramel Glaze, and Warm Blended Spices. It was a really, really good scent. I was super impressed with it. Okay, the last Bath & Body Works candle actually Ryan finished. This is Mahogany Apple. Scent notes are Red Mahogany Woods, Golden Delicious Apple, Pink Peppercorn, and Fresh Lavender Sprigs. And um, he really is a fan of Mahogany Teakwood. So if you guys like Mahogany Teakwood, this is a very similar scent. I know it like popped off on TikTok last year because it smells like, or it's supposed to smell like Draco Malfoy, but it just smells like a really, really good smelling man with like a little bit of juicy apple. Just a really amazing scent. As you can tell, he is not uh, a seasoned candle burning pro because there's a lot of smudge on here and I'm pretty sure it's not the candle's fault, but totally fine. He burned it down, absolutely loved it. I will totally purchase this again next year. Um, I think it's come out two years in a row, so I imagine it'll be back next year, hopefully. Really, really good scent. Now let's move on to some other brands. I have Goose Creek Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. This one was pretty sooty. These like, um, large jars from Goose Creek do get pretty sooty, at least near the end. It was not very sooty to begin with. Oh, look at this. Ew. There's like candle oils, I guess, that have accumulated on the jar because it was like sitting like this in my little tub over there. So that's weird, but there's no scent notes on here, but it was a good scent. Near the end, just started smelling a little like burnt, um, but it was a really yummy like pumpkin juice scent. Um, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I probably won't purchase these large jars again because they just take too long for me to use up, which is like, it's a good thing for some people, but for me, I get sick of the scent by then. So I won't probably pick up another one of these jars, but this scent was really good. So I would consider getting this scent again. And then I also finished off from Huntington Homes, uh, the Aldi brand. This is Citrus and Clove, and it is a Woodwick candle. It's the brand Timberwick. 
but you can see the wicks down here and there's like the wick clip too. I burned it all the way down. It was a really good scent. Um, the only bad thing about these wood wick candles is near about the third, third way point. I don't know what to call that, but once you get to about a third of the candle left, it gets pretty sooty and pretty, like it smells kind of, smells burnt um, just because of the wood wick, I think. So I didn't like that factor, but it was a really good scent. I probably would still get them again just because it was like kind of a nice vibe to have going at night with like that crackling wood sound. It was pretty cool. So, and I think it was only five or $6, so a really good deal. And then the last candle that I finished up this month is DW Homes Peppermint Bark. This was a single wick and I had burned it a few times, but honestly I couldn't smell it at all burning. It smelled really good on cold. It smelled like exactly like peppermint bark on cold, but burning, I couldn't smell it at all. So I put it on my candle crock again and it lasted like a week on the candle crock, not even that long. Um, it, it's not a strong scent at all. So I'm, I'm pretty averse to getting these single wicks from DW Homes because I think they're pretty like low smelling. So I would only really get like a either a two wick or a three wick from DW Homes, which I have had a three wick from them before and it performed really well. Um, but yeah, finish this one off. Glad it's over with because it was kind of a letdown. So that is total of, well, I don't know if you can count Ryan's, but five, that was three right there and two more, five Bath and Body Works candles and then three from a different brand. So all together, eight candles this month. I went candle crazy, you guys. Honestly, went candle crazy, but I was working from home the pretty much, not the whole month, but pretty much the whole month. So that's why I really got through a lot of candles. So, all right, we're gonna pull out some more things. Okay, so I finished up a lot of wax because I was really trying to get through my fall wax this month. So here's all the wax that I finished off pretty good. Uh, the first one is the Scentsy Nightmare Before Christmas and Jack's Obsession. This was at like, juicy apple scent I think it was pretty nice I probably will get it again just because it's like it's nostalgic for you know um Halloween time but I finished it off in December totally fine whatever I don't care um and then I finished off Sensational's Caramel Apple Spice this one was a really good one too not super spicy which was really nice because my mom is very averse to spice scents so this one was a good one um, also finished off Sensational's Galletas de Calavera, Sugar Skull Cookies, don't judge my accent. Um, this was like pink wax. It was a really good scent. It just smelled like sweet sugar cookies. Um, but I did notice it left like a weird residue in my wax melters, but it was still a good scent. I finished off Scentsy's Hug in a Mug, which is just like chocolate. I think it's supposed to be hot chocolate. This was such a good scent. I really, really liked it. So I probably will purchase more of this. And then I also finished off Better Homes and Gardens Pomegranate and Spice Cider. So that one was a good one too. Just like a spiced apple scent. It was much more spicy, I would say, than caramel apple spice. So just on the spice level there, if you're interested. Some body care that I finished off. So I finished off two pocket backs, one in Vampire Blood and one in Tis the Season. And then I finished off a pumpkin cupcake hand cream. I've kind of realized that I don't like this scent in body care. Actually, I don't like it in a candle either because I had that a few years ago and I didn't like it. So I think pumpkin cupcake is just rolled out for me. I just don't enjoy it that much. Um, I finished off the white pumpkin and chai body cream. Super happy to have this out of my collection because it is going on. No, it, it's only a year old. It was only from 2020 fall, but I just wanted to finish it off before it went bad on me. So glad I finished it off. It was a really, really good scent. I probably will pick it up again in the fall of this year. So I also finished off Pink Velvet Cupcake, also from 2020 fall. Um, scent notes are sparkling red berries with pink marshmallow and sugar praline. Now this is one of my ride or die scents. It's so pretty. I was looking for it today when I went SAS shopping and I couldn't find it in the mist, but they did have it in the body cream and I think in the body lotion too. Um, but as you can tell, here's all my marks from using it in my project use it ups. It took me pretty much the entire year of 2021 to use it up, but it's so yummy. I hope they bring it out again next fall because I will absolutely pick it up. I just think it's such a nice, like sweet, juicy berry scent. Oh, it's so good. And then I did finish off two hand soaps. The first one is all about fall y'all cozy vanilla creme or cream, sorry, cream. And um, this one we finished off in the bathroom downstairs, just a super simple vanilla scent. And then vanilla cloud, which is 
whipped vanilla, apple blossom, and sandalwood. Also finished this up downstairs in our bathroom. This one was a little more sophisticated of a scent. Like, I feel like if you had company over and they used this, they would think that you were like, you had your stuff together, you know? It was a very sophisticated scent, so I like this one a lot. The last body care thing I finished off is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. This is a moderate scrub, so it was not harsh at all. It was very, very gentle. I actually really love this, almost for like everyday use or every other day use. So I will definitely be repurchasing a Dove scrub. I need to get through a couple more first before I can, um, but I definitely will repurchase another one, and I highly recommend it if you want one that is not super abrasive. So if you're looking for one that's not as harsh as like the Bath & Body Works sand scrubs or like the, um, what's the RX, um, I can't think of the RX ones from TJ Maxx, but those are super abrasive. Whereas this one's like very soft and gentle. So um, I did finish off a few hair things. The first is my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Hairspray in Ultra Strong number four. Number four. Uh, I already repurchased this. This is my ride or die since high school. So going on about 10 or 15 years on this one. She's my favorite. And I also finished off a Herbal Essence Argan Oil of Morocco Creme. Um, I use this pretty much every time that I showered, uh, just to have some oils in my hair. So, you know, my hair would be healthy and I do think it worked. I'm not going to repurchase it. I don't think they even sell this anymore. It's pretty old. I was just trying to get rid of some of my hair care and use it up. Um, and then I have one skincare item and that is the Glam Glow Super Tone Exfoliating Acid Solution Toner. Um, I did not notice this have any effect on my skin, which is kind of sad because it was super, not super expensive, but it was like over $30, I think. So kind of disappointed in that. Um, yeah, not my favorite. So that's everything for the empties of this month. I finished off all the candles, eight candles, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight candles, that's a lot of candles. So, and I also finished off five wax melts. So I feel like I've been doing really, really good with my like wax stash uh, with using that up lately. So that's been really good for me. I need to keep that up going into January because I have a lot of stuff that I need to use up that I bought during the holiday season. So yeah, let me know if you're on the same board with me. If you're really trying to finish up a lot of stuff that you went crazy on buying during the holiday season, because that's definitely me. This is a pattern though every year where when it's like winter time, fall and winter, like I buy like crazy because those are my favorite scent profiles are like fall and winter scents so like spicy stuff um I really really enjoy those so I usually tend to buy a lot more in fall and winter and then just by default I end up having to make up for it in spring and summer and like not buy as much stuff but it works out okay because I usually don't like spring and summer scents I don't really like florals and I don't really like coconuts or anything like that so kind of works out but yeah that's the boat that I'm in I'm trying to use up a lot of stuff that I bought uh in the fall and winter so let me know down below if you're in the same boat, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.